Welcome back to Control. Time to go back to the containment sector and explore and do quests. First thing I want to do is focus on Langston's runaways. So there's supposed to be a hand chair escaped object in the medical wing, which is right ahead of us. still battle music. Misa Hanon. That means where are they? Misa Hanon! Ah! No, no, not that, not that. That. God. <laughs> Look at that bundle of suitcases. I should avoid going into the center room. Is it still alive? Did more grow? Grow back? Yeah. I wonder if I have a limited opportunity with which to do something? Or- oh! When they said hand chair, they meant literally a hand chair. Like a chair that is shaped like a hand. <laughs> That's why those were growing back. They had nothing to do with taking out the altered item. Those were just to escape, and they didn't want to let me escape because I hadn't taken out the altered item yet. Gotcha. Okay, Japanese paper lantern in the sealed threshold hall. I see it on the map. I mean, there's also so many places in here that have question marks attached to them. I don't want to go to the question mark areas doing this quest. I want to keep that as a totally separate thing. Oh, right, this is the sealed threshold hall. Yeah, actually, after we do this, we have the quest still to do here. Remember, I needed to levitate to be able to get over to whatever was causing all this duplication. Now we have that. That's an altered item up there. I have a feeling this isn't very effective. 
Although it actually kind of seems to be working. Yeah. Oh, right, we get um, entries for these things. Let's look at the hand chair first. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects. Under no circumstances is the item to be sat in. <laughs> a plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a seat with the fingers acting as the chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of... Its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. Sample analysis confirms it contains ge human genetic material. <laughs> mm, nothing interesting in the background. Found in a warehouse. They picked it up. Paper lantern. Should be kept in a locked containment cell. Any prolonged observation of the item should be avoided. It's a paper lantern known as a... Chochin? I'm probably not pronouncing that right. The paper is red with elegant black Japanese characters that translate to ramen. It just says ramen on it. Item has an attractive effect that is both physical and psychological. Nearby objects gravitate towards the item with a minor force of... More notable is its ability to attract sentient organisms with its rich red color and warm, comforting glow. Yeah, let's this go. This is the safe room Well showed me. Yeah, let's go oh, do this. Altered item inside. Great. More clocks. the anchor. I need a stepping stone. I think I gotta do it from the other side. Anything else in here? I wonder if I could work my way up to the light. Might be a bonus ability point in it for me. Oh, I think there's an invisible wall. I feel like I bonked my head prematurely. Yeah, there's an invisible wall. special? They look special. I think that stopped it?
Ah, oh, I need to hit it when it's spitting out clocks. Gotcha. That's not the time. I'm not sure what it's doing when it does that. But that attack doesn't always lead to anything. Oh, it doesn't even have to be the special clocks, just anything. I could probably even shoot it. Shit. <laughs> Can I get some of those health drops? Oh, there's some over there. had such a hard time with that one. Have you ever mentioned that this game is really fucking cool? God, do I adore it. <laughs> Oops, bonked my head. mention that this game is really fucking cool? Let's see if we've made the knife rain abate. Better not get blamed for this mess in the next performance. I found all those missing altered items. All of them? Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. But those weren't all of the altered items missing from the Panopticon. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. How many of these things did he lose? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem for you. I really appreciate your help. Really. Just. Super. How could they make that sound so dishonest somehow? Amazing. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Like always. So, Prime Candidate Program. Okay, that's a place we haven't been to yet. And then also, Sealed Threshold Corridor. Not the hall, but the corridor. Which we have been to, apparently. I just teleported here and I still have no memory of this place. Have we actually been here? I remember the clocks with chalk outlines around them. I saw that over there. I don't know. Uh, let's spend our ability points, though. Got six. Uh, we've maxed out our energy and health. Don't care about melee. Launch is maxed. Uh, yeah, more levitate duration. Damage would be nice. 
Also, the shield dash thing also would be kind of cool just to see what it is. You know, heck, we got enough to do it. Let's unlock it. See what it's like. When released, shield propels debris at nearby enemies. Oh. Oh, sorry. The thing I was thinking of, the shield rush, isn't until later on, actually. Yeah, the shield barrage is a completely separate thing. We don't actually need this to get this. We need down here, and then we can go over to the right and get this. Whoa, energy will recover while shield is active. That's really good. Yeah, I don't think I care, care about shield barrage at all. Well, most of the way there. So, the item should be in here. Still suspicious about whether I've actually been here. Is it... Hmm. Nope, thought I recognized it, but nope, I don't. Maybe? Is this where that person was dying? And I went to get the medic? I don't think so. So we're looking for a flamingo. It wouldn't be all the way in here, would it? It specify the corridor. Hmm, probably in here. Aha. Uh -huh. That's an odd light. Ah. How is this related to the flamingo, though? Wait a minute, I'm all the way in logistics? This is where that person was. The one of the medic. Will this take me back? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky little fucker, I see your beak poking out. Whoa. That's got to be an altered item. God, that's cool. Oh no. Okay, don't fall off this time.
Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it breaks holes in the ground. Oh, you can grab the balls? Fuck. I'm scared to, to evade anywhere because I'm worried about falling off. To hunt something invisible. You know, I don't think Pierce is the best weapon for this because this requires a quick response. Let's replace it with, I don't know, maybe just grip? Oh, I think it saves the mods that you had attached to it before. That's good, so when I go back to Pierce, I'm not going to have to redo all that. Well, these are garbage, so... What do we got? Ammo cost per shot, minus 24%. That's good. Ammo cost for levitating. That's good. Energy gained from headshots. I don't... I don't know. What's this thing's head? I'm just shooting in the eye. Is that its head? Levitating, I guess? This thing again. What does this thing want? Is it fighting the bull? <laughs> Hello, goodbye. I never did like flamingos. Too <sighs> pink. <laughs> So they don't drop anything, so I didn't miss anything that, that last time when I died right after defeating it. Now the Prime Candidate program, so now we're just going back to new stuff. Oh, I forgot to read the Ocelot's Anchor uh, procedures. Wait, I have... Oh, this is the procedures, this is the supplement. Right, I think we already read the supplement, not the procedures. Blackrock paneling successfully prevents manifestation of the sphere. A Trotman-style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surface is rusted in places. Weighs 3,789 pounds. The item generates a persistent blank sphere, the purpose of which is currently unknown. This sphere is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item. Back in 83, Ranger First Class was dropped into the sphere wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the sphere, their oxygen line was cut at the sphere's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room uh, experienced vomiting, vertigo, and loss of fingernails within an hour of one another. And the Ranger that went inside has been declared MIA, presumed dead. Fingernails? Let's go ahead and upgrade grip to the max level. And I guess spin? That's actually to the second level. I haven't even upgraded it at all. Oops. Yeah, I kind of... Oh, right, I can't do that through this menu. I want to switch my weapons. 
I kind of want to switch and just try something else. I don't know, just for the fun of it. Like, let's swap out charge for... Let's do spin and grip. That sounds like fun. So I know I didn't have very good ones for grip. Still don't, I guess. Ammo cost while levitating for a second time? I'm really going to want to levitate when using that. Ah, oh, that'd be better used on spin though, wouldn't it? Because that thing just fires ammo so fast. Spin gripping efficiency plus 22%. That's good. Accuracy plus 22%. It's also really good. Rate of fire plus 55%. That's great. Yeah, let's go with rate of fire and accuracy. That's good. I could replace one of them with levitation ammo efficiency, but it's all right. This thing fires really fast. <laughs> God, imagine if he had three of those 50% fire rate increases. 150% fire rate increase. This thing would be absurd. Spins around. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> okay, prime candidate program, which I think we access through security. Yes. supplement. She was admitted to a mental ward for emotional instability soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in 1914. The item only appears on record again in 2006 when the Bureau investigated a sudden rise in disappearances in Illinois. Agents found the item hanging in the local library. They contained it quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. Supplementary material, date August 18th, 1915. We certify that the case of Mrs. has shown her to be a lunatic under the reasons of hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. Her fixation with the family looking glass is noteworthy, though not an uncommon matter when considering the female disposition, Jesus Christ. They're fit subject for the lunatic asylum will remain in its confines until her affliction has passed. Dog! Probably one of the developer's dogs. stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends, and disappointments. Then, P6, Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. 
No parents. They're gone. Casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family. My daughter and my wife. We weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the Prime Candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. And we obviously are P7. Hmm. Don't think I ever did this. Let me just pause that for a second. So this is titled Former. I noticed when I was editing the videos that that was the name of the giant worm thing that we fought. It's just called Former, which I found a weirdly disturbing name. It doesn't say much. It's not like Former this, Former that, just Former. And I don't know, I just find that really unsettling. <laughs> okay. Pink Flamingo Procedures. Ah, oh, I didn't read that one either, did I? No unique procedures required. Altered status is suspected but unverified. A plastic pink flamingo lawn ornament. Two steel prongs extend from its underside. The item is suspected to influence atmospheric physics, altering meteorological phenomena in the area. This effect is currently unconfirmed. Oh, right. We read about this, right? Wasn't there like a homeless person outside of the bureau that someone from the bureau saw? talking about that thing and it did seem to affect the rain and they took it from them director our future peace and p7 
That is so cool looking. Wait, who is that? There's like someone or a... Or a mannequin or something. At the end of that twisty passage. Yeah, spin kind of just sucks. Like, really bad. Shatter hasn't been upgraded past level 1, so I don't think I want to use it right now. Mm. I'm going back to Pierce and Charge. I'm sorry. go there yet where everything starts to twist <laughs> Bright Falls, place where Alan Wake took place. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, Washington, resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake creating an altered world event in which reality was altered to match that of the story, though only locally and for a limited time. Mr. Kirkland, head of investigations, was alerted on September 13, 2010 by ex-Bureau agent Frank Breaker that an altered world event was taking place in Bright Falls, Washington. Breaker had received a call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's literary agent, on behalf of Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. A bureau field team arrived at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted. Mm -mm. Eyewitness reports highlighted an old light switch. That's something missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claimed he dived into the lake, but no body was recovered in the search. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects, like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! <laughs> So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? 
Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. The most disturbing thing about that to me was saying brains in the plural rather than brain singular. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us, but wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. Ordinary. There's so much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six. And the sister as well, once we catch up with her. But the, the boy, so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. It's completely different circumstances here. an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he, he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Robert's got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. Make this work. We'll make this work. Marshall does not like this. Dylan Faden transcript. A transcript of conversation subject Dylan Faden for review by Dr. Darling. Note subject was alone during this outburst. Dylan Faden, uh, you again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore. And I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Fuck off, you bitch. I'll dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeated the phrase, fuck off, numerous times before being sedated. I think they were showing them Jesse. I'm interested in this year, though. I don't care anymore, and I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Well, one of those is obviously Jesse. Who's the other one? Who left them here to rot? It doesn't say who the other person is. I 
gotta mouse over things to make them stop popping up as new. P6 victim autopsy. Findings. Blunt force injuries of the head and neck. Extensive trauma of the abdominal region. Which includes lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower torso. Fracture of the spinal cord between the L1 and L2 vertebrae. And avulsion fracture of the 3rd through 10th ribs left and right. Then blunt force injuries of the extremities, which includes abrasions, lacerations, and contusions of the extremities. Dislocation of left and right elbow. Dislocation of left and right knee. Conclusion. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the... was contorted through his... P7. Which I think is me. I mean, who the hell else would it be? 